observations are made allow the mix to cool or break down then you observe the movement of mix that means uh, the temperature is too high give some time for the mix to cool or break down the temperature so compaction helps in retaining the heat of the mix and please remember compaction zone is about 50 meters that is 50 meters is required for operating the roller once breakdown rolling is carried out then we need to carry out intermediate rolling when still the bituminous mix is in plastic state for this pneumatic rollers are more suitable pneumatic rollers may not increase the density substantially but it increases the stability of the mix by needing action and reorientation of the particles in the mix so we get more uniform compaction using the pneumatic rollers and also the layers get sealed uh, properly and the tire pressure generally need to be 0.7 to 0.9 mpa so after this big down rolling we need to carry out the final or finish rolling still when the material is in warm condition why final rolling to remove the tire marks we need to take certain precautions during compaction rolling we need to maintain uniform speed we should not allow compactor to stand on the hot bituminous mix there should not be jerky start sudden breaking sharp changes are not to be made change of lane of rolling made only on already compacted surface steel wheels pneumatic wheels please remember they cause loss of heat a small amount of detergent or vegetable oil is used so that the bituminous mix is not stick to the wheels of the roller this is the view showing the rolling operations there are stead vibratory rollers and the pneumatic rollers this is another view showing the rolling operations so rolling is important as i said it increases the density so we need to carry out the quality control test during construction and this table indicates the quality control tests required during the construction of dense bituminous macadam or semi dense bituminous concrete or bituminous concrete lay we need to check the quality of binder by taking two samples per lot subjected to all or some tests as directed by the engineer in charge of the project aggregate impact value to one test to be conduct for for every 350 cubic meter of aggregates the shape test to be carried out for every 350 cubic meter of aggregates one soundness test to be carried out and similarly water absorption of aggregate test to be carried out for every source marshal test and the binder content for each 400 tons of the mix to be carried out subjected to minimum of two tests per day we need to check the density of the layer compacted layer for every 700 square meter area please remember it is always better to construct a trial stretch for project conditions and then fixing of the guideline guidelines before constructing any bituminous layer so we should not adopt the guidelines of construction adopted for the project constructed elsewhere or by others we need to adopt the guidelines by constructing the tile stretch what is called mock up uh, this is uh, the roughness requirements for the uh, the bituminous layers 
we say the surface is good the quality of surface is good if the roughness is less than 2000 mm per kilometer we say the surface quality is good if average if it is the surface unevenness index is between 2000 to 3000 we say the surface quality is poor if the roughness exceed 3000 mm per kilometer similarly for other type of layers mix uh, seal surfacing and this is for surface dressing one of the important uh, parameter or the property we need to control during construction of bituminous layers is segregation what is this segregation segregation is the separation and consolidation of large size aggregates from the finer particles this segregation may occur at the mixing plant during transportation or by improper paving operations so when you look at uh, the segregation please remember we uh, i showed you a table indicating the allowable limits or tolerances for the aggregates in the mix it varies from somewhere 2 to 7 or 8 percent depending upon binder or surface coat so that is the 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 importance given for the gradation and maintaining gradation in the construction is really a challenging job because at every stage of construction segregation happens and controlling segregation is very very important operation so the when we control segregation we can maintain gradation once we maintain the gradation the quality of the mix can be maintained so that is the importance of uh, the segregation control of segregation so why segregation in the plant in the hot mix plant the material may hang up of the feeders in the bin maybe because of moisture the can be segregation due to inadequate uh, mixing time in the pug mill lack of replacement of broken uh, or twisted or ine ineffective paddles in the pug mill segregation can happen uh, due to the level of material that we maintain overloaded sometimes underloaded sometimes when we do not maintain head of material in the pug mill this segregation can happen in the plant because of the motion when there is a free fall of the material to the hopper or the truck from the plant it can happen segregation can happen during transportation because uh, during transportation coarser materials roll down or you are using a bigger tipper but tipper is not loaded fully small mix small batch of mix in the large truck segregation happens it can happen during discharging of the material from the tipper to the paver if the rear gate does not open fully or partial openings prevent smooth flow causing hang up segregation on both sides of the truck and material being dropped in paver in the same condition is another reason why segregation happens during transportation segregation can occur in the paver because of insufficient material in the hopper and material above the level of the auger during the paving coarser mixes or lean mixes are more prone to segregation during paving there are certain things we need to remember during the construction of bituminous layers overheating is one please remember overheating kills the life life of the bitumen so we need to maintain the required temperature and again we should not heat the mix for longer duration that also reduces the life of the mix we need to maintain proper gradation and then exposing this dense bituminous macadam layer whenever we are constructing dbm layer or binder layers 
for heavy this kind of binder layers dpm or any binder layers not to be exposed to the heavy traffic heavy axial traffic or rainy conditions rains for longer durations longer duration at the earliest this binder courses dbm or bm especially bm should be i mean bm should not be exposed to the rains at all it should be covered with a seal coat if that is the case unless at the earliest even for dbm also exposing dbm layer for longer duration without uh, covering with a surface layer it's not good so whenever we are compacting asphalt layers bituminous layers high vibrations are dangerous and uh, compacting the bituminous mix at the lower temperatures is also not good we'll continue the discussion on uh, the construction of bituminous layers uh, in our next session after